friends! Today I'm finally going to show you how to record a professional sounding audio track on your phone and sync it with footage from any camera. A lot of you have asked for this video after I talked about the technique in this video, which focuses on solving some of the issues with the Canon G7X. Although the G7X is everybody's favorite vlogging camera, some people see it as a problem that there is no external audio input. So you can't physically connect a better microphone to the camera and you're basically stuck with the one that is built in. Now, in my opinion, this isn't really a huge problem because I usually use the Canon G7X for what I think it does best, which is this style of vlogging. And in this situation, your mouth is going to be close enough to the microphone that you're going to get pretty good audio. Oh, I love it. It looks more comfortable than the bamboo one. However, if you're doubling up use of the camera and you're using it in a studio style setting like this room, then you're going to get much better audio using this lav mic technique that I'm about to show you. Here's a sample of the natural sound in the room while I'm filming on my Canon DSLR. The camera's about six feet away and you can definitely hear that there's a lot of echo in the room. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not the most professional way to make a video. Now before I show you exactly how to get this enhanced audio, I just wanted to mention that I put together an exciting new document for you guys called my top 10 travel vlogging tips. It includes advice on planning, gear selection, music, shot ideas, and more. I really think it'll help you level up your travel vlogging game and you can download it for free in the link in the video description below or on the blog at ama.tv slash freebies. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below and if you don't already know me, my name is Alicia and I'm your host here on AMA TV where I publish fun travel videos and talk about the tools and techniques I use to create them. Now let's get started. First, you will need a good quality lav mic that connects to your phone. The only one I've ever used and highly recommend is called the Rode Smart Lav. This is just the case, this is the mic. There are cheaper ones out there, but really I think you get what you pay for and I'm not a fan of investing any amount of money in something that's not gonna work well and will likely break soon. I will say that I'm not a huge audio nerd, like nothing about it actually excites me. I just do what I have to do to get good audio in my videos to not distract from the quality of the videos. And this lav mic trick has definitely worked well in many sit down videos in the studio, but I've also used it in the field for planned out intros and things like that. It's really small and really easy to travel with, so it's better to have it in not need it then need it and not have it. Plus, you can do some fun things with it in the field. You see, with the lav mic technique, you can be far away from the camera or maybe you're moving towards it. The beauty of having the mic on you rather than on the camera is you've got a lot of flexibility to move around and the audio stays exactly the same. Did you want to say hi to the friends? <laughs> Speak directly into the mic. And back in the studio, you don't have to worry about the camera being a bit further away from you because the audio is always right here with you. Now, in theory, you can record this audio to any app of your choice, but I think it's best to use the app that Rode created for it. So the first thing you'll need to do once you get the mic is download the Rode Record app. Now when you're ready to record, you just wanna go into the phone and start a new recording. So you'll tap this little plus sign and when the new screen pops up, the first thing I like to do is go into details and rename it to something relevant. It's very important to stay organized, really in all of film file handling. Then I go into settings and I just raise the mic gain a little bit. The volume of the audio track is a bit too low otherwise. And you can see there are a lot of other audio tweaking options available. So after it's plugged in, you just wanna lace it under your shirt and attach it somewhere. These things never really look good with anything that I tend to wear, but if you're wearing a black suit with a nice black lapel, it's going to blend in perfectly. That's kind of what these things were designed for. Um, I really just don't care if you can see it because I'd rather that my audio sounds good and you can see the mic than my audio sounding terrible and there's no mic in sight. The final thing you'll do once the mic is attached is a quick testing, testing. You want the waveforms to be nice and visible, but if you're getting into the red without significantly yelling, then the mic gain is probably set too high. Now, when you're ready to begin, simply press record within the app, turn off the screen, and put the phone in your pocket. It's definitely going to make you a little bit nervous at first, but just trust it. It may not look like it's doing anything, but it is recording your audio. You see, I'm checking mine now. Even I get nervous. Still recording. Now it's important to note that you should not start the audio track until your camera shot is all set up and you're completely ready to go. Then once you're recording on both camera and audio, the next and very important step that you have to remember to do, you don't have to, there's ways around it, but it's very helpful, is a big clap. 
If you don't know why we're doing this, you'll definitely find out when we get to the editing portion of the video, and just know that it's the same thing as those old Hollywood style clappers. Those things tell you the scene and a lot of information about the take, but that clap is also very significant. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and roll with whatever script you have or whatever you're talking about. It's also important to note that once you have your audio and your video rolling, it's very important to keep them together as parallel files. So if you stop one, stop the other, and then start fresh on both, and start fresh with a new clap. And what I'm gonna do is list a more proper like workflow to do this in the blog post that accompanies this video, and that will be on ama.tv. So check it out if you really wanna follow us step by step for how to do this. And now we're going to edit the video that we just shot. So we take the video file, import it into a new project in Final Cut. And I imagine that similar principles of syncing would apply across any editing platform. So even if you don't use Final Cut, don't worry, just watch what I'm doing and you'll probably pick up the gist of it and be able to do it in whatever you use. Before we go any further, I do need to address how we get the audio file off of the phone and onto the computer. It's actually pretty easy. When you're done recording, just tap this button here. Rode offers several transfer methods that require some basic setup. The email sounds easy, but I haven't had much luck with it. FTP can be a little tricky if you don't do server stuff, but it's definitely an option if you do. What I think is easiest are the cloud storage options, and I personally use Dropbox. So I just changed that file to an MP3 and upload it to my Dropbox account, which I've already input. Then it simply appears wherever you like in your Dropbox, and it's easy to download to your computer's hard drive from there. Once you've got that file, you'll just drag it right over to Final Cut alongside that video clip and look for the peak of the clap. You can zoom in in order to best line them up. Now, one cool thing about recording audio this way is that since we don't have any kind of mic plugged into the camera, the camera is recording the audio as well. So if we look at these files here, we can see that we recorded the natural ambient audio, which doesn't sound that great, but it can be useful. Like if you forgot to clap, or if you're just having a hard time matching up an exact audio peak for whatever reason. Try turning both audio files up and playing them alongside of one another. If you hear any sort of an echo, then they're not synced properly and you should continue to adjust. It's fun to play with it this way and it's great Great to hear the differences in sound. By the way, this technique is simply how I sync audio files. I'm sure there's many other ways to do it. I've heard about like automatic ways, but to me this is simple and clean, especially with the clap. I just kind of like doing it manually. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Now once you have a perfect sync, you still have two very important final steps. First, turn off that audio recorded on the camera so you're left with just the smooth stuff from the lav mic. Then you want to nest the files together. So select them both, control click or right click on a PC and select new compound clip. Give it a name if you like, hit enter, and then you have your final synced piece that you can begin to edit. And there you have it, beautifully recorded external audio on the Rode Lav mic synced up with the Canon video files in Final Cut Pro. Let me know what you thought of this technique, if you've tried it, if it worked for you, if you're excited to try it, or if you have any additional questions about it before you dive in. And definitely grab your free copy of my latest document, Top 10 Travel Vlogging Tips. It's not just a quick list, it's definitely a lot of great information that I think will benefit you. And I would love to hear your feedback, like which tip is your favorite, most inspiring, most helpful. Another place that we can talk about this stuff is over in my Facebook group, Travel Film Friends, which I recently created and I'm very excited about. It's a place where us travel filmmakers or aspiring travel filmmakers can discuss our craft, share techniques, share videos, all that sort of stuff. And I will also be sharing a lot of my tips for travel vlogging since that is what I did for so, so long. And since I'm not traveling at the moment, I actually have some time to take a step back and share some of this information with you guys. So I would love to learn what you would like to learn next. So definitely let me know. I'm Alicia and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.